Good morning, League Gamers, and to everyone else, good morning, I guess. So last video, as you can clearly see, I got access to Winter Todd. Here are the stats that I have unlocked. I forgot that completing a Winter Todd kill was a task, and I got 60 fire making. Oh wow, that was a lot of tasks, actually, because <laughs> I'm gonna open up my first two supply crates. Well, there are no relics that really work at Winter Todd, or maybe there are like bossing ones or something. I don't know, but I'm just gonna, at least for now, equip the relics that I want to level up. So right now I'm equipping Hot on the Trail, Golden Brick Road, and Grave Robber. Oh, okay, it, it, it seems like you do get clue scrolls from Winter Todd because you're technically lighting a fire, I guess. I thought it was only like if you're, you know, lighting a log, but it looks like it works at Winter Todd too, so that's nice. Oh wow, I didn't know this until someone asked, but Hot on the Trail only gives hard clues at Winter Todd. Interesting. I did get a hard clue earlier so that makes sense. I said that like a couple minutes ago and I've already gotten two hard clue scrolls. Looks like the chat was right. I'm just gonna keep the clue boxes in my inventory for fun and because I seem to get a lot of them. My hot on the trail fragment is now level 2. Killing Winter Todd 10 times was an easy combat task. 80 fire making and getting level 80 was a hard task. I guess I'm just gonna open these two supply crates and then go do something else. I still haven't edited the previous video, so I'm probably gonna have to go AFK something. Wow, never lucky. I think I'll just AFK fishing. I mean, my only other option right now is woodcutting. I feel like fishing is a lot more AFK, so... First, I'm gonna do fishing contest and sea slug, and that'll get me a fair bit of levels. Ooh, 41 fishing. I got a chef's catch fragment. Sea slug complete. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go to barbarian fishing, but first I need to get 15 strength. And in order to train strength, obviously I need to unlock it. That's 20 points. So yeah, I'll just kill cows for a while. Okay, I hit 20 strength. I think I'm just gonna stop here and go fishing now. Gonna unlock the barbarian assault teleport while I'm here. I probably should have gotten more feathers than that before I came here, but whatever. Hopefully I'm not gonna be editing for too long. Okay, barbarian fishing is unlocked. Oh, I got the catch of the day fragment. It gives you a 1 out of 300 chance of obtaining a rare item while fishing. I think this sounds pretty good, so I'll probably just go to the bank and switch these out. Chef's catch doesn't work here anyways. Okay, catch of the day equipped. Chef's catch is now level 2. Grave robber is now level 2. Oh, looks like my catch of the day relic got me 3k. <laughs> nice. I was low on money, so that works. My catch of the day fragment is now level 2. Hopefully I get more stuff because the only thing I've gotten so far is the 3k coins. Oh, I got a rune kite shield. Also, I did the silk task and already since I was there. I just wanted to like sell a couple of things to the shop, to the general store at Artie, just to get some GP to buy more feathers because I ran out. Oh, I just maxed out my golden brick road fragment. Also, I sold my rune kite shield for some money so I could buy all these feathers because I ran out again. This will definitely last me a while. Also, maxing out one fragment was a medium task. That's cool. You really get a lot of relics from fishing. Like you can get agility relics from fishing as well. So that's awesome. So since I don't need this one equipped, I don't need to train it anymore. And obviously it doesn't do anything at barbarian fishing. So I'm gonna pick something else. I think I'll pick the barbarian pest wars. I think that could be good to train up. 
I don't know if chef's catch works at barbarian fishing. I guess I haven't tried it, so maybe I will. Okay, back to fishing. I'm still editing. It's taking so long. Oh, I unlocked the clued in fragment. Enemies that drop clues drop them at a rate of 1 out of 30. Oh, I leveled up my catch of the day fragment to level 3. Now it's maxed out and now I should get a lot more random rare stuff from fishing. That's cool. Well, Chef's catch is now level 3, so I'm gonna switch it out for another fragment to train because it doesn't work here anyways. Okay, I'm equipping clued in because it sounds really cool and I don't know how rare it is to get this specific fragment. Well, I got another skilling fragment and I opened it and it gave this message. Well, I got another skilling fragment, so I guess I'm just gonna be getting agility ones and I don't know if there's any strength ones I can get from fishing. I mean, I got the clued in fragment, so maybe. <laughs> Barbarian Pest Wars is level two and I just got a shield left half. Nice. My clued in fragment is now level two. I don't think I've gotten any second clued in fragments or maybe I got like one. I guess that just shows how long I've been here. Well, I got the rogue's chompy farm fragment. Tithe farm points are boosted by 100%. Chance to successfully crack the wall safe in the rogue den maze is boosted by 10%. And each chompy bird kill is worth 2 kills. My grave robber fragment is now level 3. I got this message in a bottle fragment. Clue vessels from skilling are found three times as often, then it goes up to five and then ten. Nice. I think I'm gonna unequip catch of the day since it's maxed out and I really need to AFK fishing and I just keep getting stuff and it keeps like filling up my inventory. I mean, it's not like that often. I've been fishing for a few hours, but still. Also, I want to max out all of my relics because apparently that's a task. So I'm going to equip message in a bottle. Oh, I'm getting the knife's edge set effect. I mean, that's really not relevant to fishing, but that's cool. It'll come in handy at some point, probably. Anyways, back to fishing. I'm almost done editing, and I'm already 84 fishing. At least I'm getting decent agility and strength levels. Okay, I think I'm done editing. I feel like I'm kind of burnt from editing. Ironically, not burnt from RuneScape, but I've just been editing so much the past few days that I just do not want to edit anymore right now. So I think this video might take a while to come out, and I apologize for that, but I just really want to play runescape and chill and have fun so anyways right now i think i'm gonna go do some quests because there are a lot of quests that completing them is a league task you can pay sages renown to auto complete the quests and you'll still like complete that task which is completing the quest and you'll get points but i haven't really looked into it but it seems like most of these quests that are tasks, you don't get like the same amount of points back if you auto-complete them and then get the task done by default. So it seems like the easier quests you probably should just do yourself since they're really quick. So I'm gonna go do some of those. I don't know, I'm just kind of in a questing mood. It seems like the only beginner task quest that's worth doing right now is Moon Mysteries and Romeo and Juliet because those two don't give XP. There's also Sheep Herder, Gertrude's, Gertrude's Cat, and the Natural History Quiz, which I'd rather wait until I have those skills unlocked that the reward goes in. Rune Mysteries complete. Oh, visiting the Rune Essence Mine was a league task, but also it was a diary task, so I wanted to do that. Romeo and Juliet complete. Oh, burning food is a task. Witch's Potion, Hazeel Cult's done, got me to 37 thieving. I was really close to 70 agility, so I just wanted to get that real quick. 
gonna buy some more runes and try to go for the wizard's robe again. Okay, so I have the relics. Arcane Conduit, which saves your runes. Unholy Wizard, your magic attack accuracy increases when you have zero prayer points left. And Clued In, which increases the drop rate of clues. And having these two gives the set effect, Draken's Touch. Any successful attack has a 50% chance of restoring your hit points based on the amount of damage dealt. Also, using a teleport spell is a task, so I'm just doing that. Got my blue wizard robe. I'm just gonna kind of run around doing random tasks. Hopefully get my points up. Pickpocket a ham member. Receiving an Agility Arena ticket, equip a Steel Plate Body, and a Black Plate Body. Catch a Herring, enter the Bermavian Dungeon, catch a Karambwanji, complete a Fishing Trawler game. Let's see if I get lucky on my first one. Wow, never lucky. I got the Deeper Pockets Fragment. It gives an increased chance to gain double loot when pickpocketing. I've been told that it stacks with the rogue's outfit, so that's cool for whenever I get it. Got 40 thieving, I just wanted to get it real quick so that I can pickpocket a guard since that's a task. Enter the fishing guild, Brimsdale Rune Essence Mine Teleport, pickpocket a guard, and pickpocket a Varrock guard. Open 28 coin pouches at once and obtain 800 coins from coin pouches at once. Pickpocket a master farmer. I'm gonna keep on deeper pockets while I'm pickpocketing this master farmer to try to get a Ranar seed because that's a task. 55 thieving and still no Ranar, but I guess it's kind of to be expected because I just have one farming and it scales with your level. At least I got a decent amount of seeds when I do start farming, so I'm just gonna go bake these and do something else. Enter level 3 of the Chasm of Fire. I got the Alchemaniac Fragment. We'll check what that is in a minute. Actually, I can just read the wiki. It gives you extra gold when you cast High Alchemy. Oh wow, I got a lot of loot here. And killing a lava dragon was a task. Burying lava dragon bones and burying bones in general is also a task. Praying at the Western Chaos Temple is a task. I died trying to kill an Inku to get some bones to use on the altar, but at least visiting Death's Domain is a task. Okay, got that task done. I have some AFK fishing tasks that I can do, and I realize I can finally do personal banker now that I have the deeper pockets relic. So this gives a chance that some of my resources that I gather from these skills will be sent directly to my bank. Actually, I feel like if I'm gonna be fishing and using that cooking fragment, then I should probably just go ahead and unlock cooking. I have more than enough points, so why not? Okay, now I will get cooking XP whenever I cook food when I fish. Cooking a single lobster got me to level 8. Catch 100 lobsters, done. Now I'm gonna move on to swordfish. I have to catch 50. Also, the chef's catch fragment is so OP here when you have low level cooking because it always cooks your fish and it doesn't matter what your cooking level is. So as you can see, I got to level 37 cooking literally just from like sitting here and fishing. It's so good. Catch 50 swordfish done. Now I'm gonna move on to sharks. Gonna get hella cooking XP from this. Oh interesting, I got a production fragment. Dine and dash. Oh here it is. 10% chance players will get an extra cooked food. The extras will be sent to the bank and provide no additional XP. Does not work on untradeable items or in instances. I kind of wonder if it works with fishing, but I have these two fragments because I need those for the personal baker thing, and I assume if it does work with fishing, I would need chef's catch for it to work, so I won't be equipping it now. Okay, I guess I didn't realize, but I did the catch 100 sharks task, and I also did cook 100 sharks. I didn't really expect to get that through just like only cooking them 
through the chef's catch relic. I guess now I'm just gonna go do 100 salmon. Oh, I hit my first level 90. I guess that shows just how much I've been fishing the last couple of days. Anyways, it's not catch 100 salmon, it's catch 50 and I did that. There's the cook shrimp task. Cook this isn't done and using this range is a task. Successfully cooking five pieces of food is also a task. Oh, there's cook 100 lobsters. Okay, I've decided that I want to unlock a couple of new skills since I have 67 Sages Renown right now. Also, I'm 10 points away from the next tier. I'll get that in the next video. So for now, I'm gonna unlock Slayer. This should get me a fair amount of tasks that I can do and also it just gives you like a lot of supplies and I can train magic. I think it's a pretty useful skill to have unlocked. I don't know. And along with that, it sounds like a weird combo, but I'm also unlocking Hunter. And this one is mainly just so that I can do the Varrock Museum quiz because it gives you Hunter and Slayer XP. And I feel like it's a waste to do Slayer without doing the quiz, but then it's a waste to do the quiz without having Hunter unlocked. But of course, training Hunter should also get me a lot of cool tasks and stuff. But yeah, I'm sorry to say I'm gonna end the video here. I think this video is already long enough and I just really don't want to make the video too long. So here are my stats at the end of this video. And here are my fragments. Again, you probably won't see this video for a, a couple of days, so I'm sorry for that, but I just need a break from editing for my sanity. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. My advice for this video is if you make videos, you should probably edit as you go along. Like what Mudkip does is whenever he records a clip, he just goes and edits it like while he's doing stuff in RuneScape, like whatever he's doing. He just edits the clip right away instead of like waiting to edit the entire video, which is what I do and is probably why I got burns from editing so hard. So yeah, if you ever plan on making long videos, then just do a little bit at a time. Trust me, it really helps. Or at least it helps me, but it's like hard to edit videos when I'm not AFKing, so I don't know, I'll figure something out. This video will go up eventually, don't worry. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, lovelies.